All right, let's get back out on patrol. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I love the way that like, they're bracing for the waves and stuff. Hey, what's up guys? You boys, Pilot 2K7, and we are back for a brand new Grand of Photo 5 LS PDFR episode. Today, we're going to be doing some more coastal callouts, and we are at the United States Coast Guard Station Los Santos, which does house helicopters. As you can see, we have a Dolphin, an MH-65 helicopter landing in the background, and we also have multiple boats as well. So we're going to go ahead and get our day started. I actually wanted to start off over here so I could show you guys the um, entrance and everything like that just because it was kind of messed up in one of my previous videos and I think it wasn't being shown off properly so definitely want to come back and show you guys the entrance so we are driving in and you guys are going to notice we have a speed limit of five miles per hour here and then we also have a uh, security checkpoint right here or a, I guess a uh, gate entrance so just no Nobody could just like drive up in here without the proper clearance. So we have a security guard in there, which is pretty cool. The gates open and closed. There's a stop sign there. <laughs> you guys see this? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Hold up. Let me report this, guys. This dude literally, what are you doing? Hey, hey. Oh, sh shoot. Uh oh, uh oh. Crap. If he gets away right now, oh my god, that was a fail. All right, we have uh, PDs here, and it looks like they're filling as well. This guy's really about to get away. Hold up. We're not even supposed to be doing this right now. We are... Oh! God. What a failure. <laughs> this guy's gone with the car. He just stole somebody's car out of here. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh! This was not how I expected today's episode to start off. But that's what I like about LSPDFR. You never really know what's going to happen. Oh my god, I hate this camera. I got to disable that again. All right, let's... Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm not used to the handling on this truck. Damn it. Damn, we done got ourselves into a whole pursuit and everything. This dude just stole one of the Coast Guard member vehicles. Alright, pit, pit. It's not good. Let's see how the Coast Guard does their pit maneuvers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's get him out of the vehicle. Down on the ground, sir. Sir. Oh, my buttons are different. Crap. Alright. I'm just gonna hit him with a taser and let LSPD take this over. This is ridiculous. Alright. You guys want to take it over from here? Alright, thanks. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Alright. So, uh, I'm going to try to get his car back to, um, back to the station. And we're going to get back over there and start our episode. Alright guys, so we're back at the Coast Guard station. That was funny, like, I was not expecting something like that to happen. So, I'm gonna head over here to the boat area. I'm actually gonna jump in the menu to show you guys the whole station. So, we have multiple helipads here. We have a refueling area as well, so we can keep the uh, helicopters refueled. We have a hangar over here. U.S. Coast Guard. Very nice. And then... These docks over here, we mainly keep our Defender class boats, the safe boats. These are 25 footers and we have those here and ready to go. And over on this side of the docks, we have our larger boats. So here is our response boat medium. This one is the 45 footer and you can always tell how long it is just by the first two numbers in the um, 
number sequence there so 45 45 footer versus this is a 25 as you can see uh, we also have a smaller boat over here we don't really use this one too much but it's here and then we have the big boy the motor life boat 47 footer so that's just a quick tour of our station here in Los Santos and do remember we also have the air station at uh, Los Santos International Airport and then we also have the station in Polito Bay as well so it looks like my team is already ready to go I'm the late one here because I got myself into a pursuit <laughs> but uh, looks like everybody else is ready to go Let's uh, grab our safety equipment first. So we're gonna put on our vest and our helmet. Safety first. And let's board the boat. Okay, so we're on board. How are you doing? So I think we have a crew of five today. So we have one lady on the back. Uh, we have one of our guys, He's, he likes to hang off the side. Uh, and I think we have two people in here. Yep, so we're gonna have a crew of five. So let's get going. Fire this thing up. So we do have blue lights on this, as well as our navigation lights and our takedown lights, our spotlights. I haven't used the responsible medium in a really long time, so this should be fun. One other thing I wanted to show you guys too before we get going. Um, if you guys look down here, um, you can actually see another compartment down there. So we can actually keep people down there as well. So if we like save anybody or we rescue or if we detain anybody after like arrest them or whatever we have to do we could keep them down here so we have four spots down here plus extra equipment fire extinguishers and then once we go back up here we have another four seats so the driver's seat is there passenger two more passengers um, and then we also have multiple seats around the boat as well so it's pretty cool so let's get started guys i'm gonna let dispatch know we are 10 8 and available i don't really have anything planned for this episode um, most of my coastal call outs i kind of like think about what I wanted to do and like do a specific call but today I'm just gonna go out and see what happens I love the interior of this this is really nicely detailed even our speed very very nice all right everybody's ready all right let's get out there Gotta make sure nobody falls off once we get up to speed. <laughs> Woo, this thing has some power to it. This is a nice cross between the uh, the smaller boat and the bigger boat. So you have a little bit of speed compared to the motor life boat, but then you still have that agility as well, kind of like the Defender. So I'm just going to patrol this area. Uh, we'll head up the coast and see if anything's going on. Or maybe we'll circle back towards the ports. I want to make sure we keep all of the waterways safe. We also want to look out for any boats that are too close to shore as well. There's a 200 meter security zone. Um, so there should be no boats too close to the shore in here. Since this is a swimming area. call here where is oh that's all the way over there okay so we're gonna have to spin around 
Hold on there, buddy. Hold on. We have a port of a jet ski car. One person has flipped over in heavy waves. Rider is in the water. So I'm going to try to grab them. Probably going to have to tow their jet ski back to shore. I'm going to have to go all the way around the airport here. I'm going to try to grab my uh, wire here. My headset just died out of the wireless headset. Only bad thing about it is when you forget to charge it and it does. Just make sure, yep, we're going the right way. So it's going to take us a little while to get over there, so I'll just pick up once we get closer. We are moving right now. We're going about 60 knots. So one thing I didn't even think about, guys, I forgot all about my siren. All right, we're looking for a sinking jet ski. Anybody see anything yet? Use my camera. See if we can pick anything up a little bit faster. Oh, is that a shark or? Then we got either a shark or an orca or something in the water there. All right, I don't see them yet. Make sure you guys keep your eyes open. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in the water here. I think these are whales. Yeah, that's what those are. You always gotta be careful though, because sometimes they are there are sharks. <laughs> so you always just have to be prepared for anything out here. All right, I'm not seeing anybody. I think they made it back to shore, or maybe they're over here. over there coming up. Let me check on the inside area over here. Can we even get in there? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not beat ourselves. I don't see anybody here, guys. Okay, there's definitely nobody here. See some hikers over there. They're on land. One of the uh, jet skis sank already. Up, oh, I see a jet ski. 
Oh, where's the person at? You guys see anybody? Oh, here. Oh, they're under the water. Okay, I see them. Alright, let me help them out. Grab our life preserver here. Alright, let's try to throw this to them. Here you go, sir. I'm gonna pull you up, okay? Oh, he's trying to get back onto the uh, jet ski. There we go. Alright, we'll pull them on up. Alright, are you okay, sir? What happened, man? You don't have a life vest? Yeah, you need to have a life vest on out here. I think he's uh, down here now. Let's just talk to him, make sure he's okay. See if he has any injuries. How you doing, buddy? You alright? Okay, was anybody else with you? Just you? Okay. You have any injuries? Anything starting? Okay. Alright, well, I'll, uh, I'll take you back to shore. And uh, let's see if we could, uh, I guess we'll tow his boat out of here. Or his jet ski. <laughs> Alright, somebody throw a line to this and let's attach to it. Got it. So we'll tow this thing back to shore. I actually did want to do like a. I wanted to tow a boat, but this is not exactly what I wanted to tow. Nothing small like this. I wanted something a little bit bigger. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We could, it wants us to drop them off at the port of Los Santos. So we'll do that since that will be the closest drop off area. I love cutting these hard turns. I don't know if this guy loves it though. <laughs> we keep putting him on the water. Alright guys, we are at the Port of Los Santos area now, so we'll drop them off. This is normally where you could find the sheriff boat. Looks like, yep, the sheriff boat is here. Sometimes you'll find the uh, Los Santos Fire Department boat here. And then also the Port Police boat on the outside areas as well. So let's drop this guy off right here. Oh shoot, I didn't even think about that. Oops, did you guys see the jet ski? Hopefully it's okay. All right, so this guy's being transported to the ambulance waiting for him. They're gonna check him out. And let me delete this tow rope. All right, perfect, so we should be able to get back Oh, they kind of fell off there, the waves knocked them out, but they'll, they'll figure themselves out. So let's get back on duty, let's see what else we get into today, guys. Oh, there's the, uh, the port, or the sheriff boat I was telling you guys about. So you have the sheriff safe boat, fender class, and you also have the sheriff response boat medium. And then sometimes you'll see the port of Los Santos here as well. 
All right, let's get back out on patrol. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I love the way that like, they're bracing for the waves and stuff. Where is the guy on the outside? Is he still there? Oh, yeah, he's still there. I thought we lost him for a second. Right next to us too. All right, this should be an easy one. We have a Jet Max experience on engine trouble and requiring our system to respond to the scene in a boat and tow the disabled vehicle back to shore. Okay, so it looks like today is turning into a towing episode, guys. contact with them and then we'll tow them back to the shore. Alright, so all we have to do is just go ahead and start talking to them. Let's actually, uh, let's talk to them first before we just tow them. So I, we don't really have to do this, but just gonna do this anyway. Hey guys, y'all okay? Let me anchor their boat too. You guys okay? Oh, you having engine troubles? Yeah, it looks like it's smoking. All right, um, hang on tight. I'll throw a rope over to you guys, and we'll tell you guys back to the uh, the docks. The docks in Vespucci. Sounds good. Okay, cool. So we'll go to towing. Oh. I gotta get in. Oh. oh, we gotta take them out. Alright, so we'll take them out first and I'll get them onto my boat. That's gonna be a little bit tricky, but let me get closer to them. Oh, okay, so no, I didn't have to take them out. Yeah, I didn't think I had to. All right, cool. So we're going to tow them back to shore. Another cool thing, you can actually um, adjust the tow length as well. So if we need to make the string or the rope longer, if we got to make it shorter, we could do so by hitting extend or shorten. But it's in a good, it's in a good uh, length already, so... Let's tow them back. Now, we're not going to go as fast this time because there are people on board. We don't want to go too fast and make them get hurt. So we're going to take it nice and easy and tow them back to the ducks. I love the way this responsible medium looks though. It is a really nice model. Alright, excuse me, I'm just trying to get a nice screenshot <laughs> for our thumbnail. Alright, let's get them back. I'm gonna pull them in a little bit more. That should be good. They're probably like, where are you taking me? Ah, 
Okay. That should be good enough for a thumbnail. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Hold on, buddies. Hold on back there. Imagine if we had to tow them like through a storm or something. That would be crazy. Oh, I even see this defender in front of me. There's some formation boat in here. Too close. <laughs> All right, so we're almost back, guys. Just gotta navigate our way around the airport, and then we'll pull into the docks area. Oh, this one has people hanging off the side, too. Oh, no, it does. I thought it did. It looked like they had a uh, member with the SWAT uniform on, but looks like I'm seeing things. Bet you this guy here on the outside is like, finally, he's slowing down. So we are back. Um, let's see if I could. Where should I put? Let's put it over here, actually. 
Oh, you know what? I forgot. They're still in there, too. Um, I'll still put them over here, though. See if I could get them to swing this way. That's not what I wanted to do, but it may work out. I was gonna try to get them on this one with these two people, but I'm gonna try to get them on this one instead. Once it spins around, it should get close enough. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, close enough. We'll just give them a little push. All right, let's give them a nice gentle tap and hopefully they'll just drift in. They'll, they'll be able to figure it out from there, so let's get back out on patrol, see if anything else is going on. Looks like they're right next to us too. All right, so this patch just said we have a what is it? A I don't even get to read it. Let me go into here. Okay, so a public uh, respond to the location and search for any suspicious vehicle. A person has been observed taking photographs with a telephoto lens. Public beach and swimming area recreation boating is permitted. A no wake zone is in effect 50 meters offshore and near any swimmers or non motorized watercraft. Spawn to a location, search for the suspicious vehicle, a purse. Okay, it's just innocent thing. Alright. So, uh, where are they? I think it's gonna be this person over here. Are they taking pictures of people at the beach? A little freaky freaky. What is Grandpa doing there? What are you doing there, Grandpa? Let's try to see who he's, uh, up. Oh, up. Oh, I see who he's taking a picture of. Taking a picture of all of the ladies in bikinis on the beach right now. All right, let's go have a chat with them really quick, Lil. We may talk to that guy too. He's a little too close to the shore to be stirring up all these waves. <laughs> Whoa, he's trying to run from us, guys. He's fleeing. Oh, sorry, people in the water. Sorry. Where did he go? He's fleeing. I gotta report this.
<laughs> He's jumped into the water. Wait, what? They both jumped into the water. Okay. Um, uh, I don't see where the other. Okay, here's the the main guy that was on the camera. What are they trying to do? Swim for it? This is hilarious. Oh no 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 no! I didn't want to do that. Really? All right. I guess we're all in the water. Three is a company, huh? Where did they go? We're gonna try to pull him out, but I don't even know if he's gonna go to the preserver. I think he's right. Oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> oh lord, this is turning into a recovery. Oh crap. Alright. Crap. Now we got a dead body on our watch. All I was gonna do is talk to him too. He must have been guilty of something. Got him. I don't know if we're gonna be able to bring him back or not. <gasps> Damn man, this is crazy. I don't know where his buddy is at. Now I wanna try to bring him up, but it's not gonna let me, but let me see. Oh, I see him. I see him. I did not even know he was right there. I right, see. This guy definitely did not make it. I want to try to place him on my boat. I don't think we could really do CPR or anything anyway, but... Let's just place him, like, right there and see if we can help him out. Now, the other guy, I don't know where he's at. CPR or anything and so we can't really rescue him so I'm gonna call in I don't know he's he's kind of dead already does he even make sense to even bother damn uh, it really doesn't even make sense for us to dispatch a helicopter because he's already gone to be honest I would try to like get a helicopter out here and transport him but this guy is gone unfortunately and we can't bring him back, so we'll just place him down there. <laughs> All right, now as far as his boat, let's take a look at his boat. Damn, I can't believe this just happened. I'm gonna search his boat. Let's see. I feel bad kind of not giving him a chance, you know, because we kind of just. I mean, we didn't let him die, but for us to call out a helicopter realistically, it'll be like 30 minute wait, you know, so. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If I had, like, um, say if I had agency call outs or something, or if I had stopped the pet, I could have tried to do CPR, but. I don't have either one in, so it's really just nothing we could do, unfortunately. So we'll tow this boat back to shore, and uh, I guess we'll hand them off to the coroners. As far as the other guy, I don't know what happened to him. I'm not sure if he escaped or if he drowned too, but we're just gonna head back and call it a day, guys. Oh, vessel in distress. That's probably far out too. Where is that at? I don't even see it. But we're not gonna take that anyway because we're a little far into this episode but hopefully you guys did enjoy thank you so much for watching today's episode 
Let me know in the comment section, how would you have dealt with that last guy? Would you, um, would you guys have called for a helicopter? Would you guys rush them to shore? Um, not to be negative, but it just seemed like it was just too late for him. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy. Also, give me some suggestions on what else you would like to see in Coastal Callouts. If you guys have any ideas or any specific department. We have been doing the Coast Guard a lot. We could also do the Sheriff Department. We could do the Fire Department. We could do the Port Police. There's a lot of different options. So give me some ideas. And also, we could do uh, boating. We could do helicopters. We could do plane callouts. So... Let me know what you guys would like to see down below. But we are back at Station Los Santos. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.